and welcome to HealthyHouseplants.com, where we teach you all about gardening in the great indoors. If you'd like to support our show, please use our Amazon affiliate link below. Today, I am going to talk about how to make your own cactus and succulent mix, potting mix, for your houseplants. And Jessica Lease uh, said that she would definitely like to see this recipe when she saw my, my video on how to make your own potting soil, so a general purpose potting soil for your houseplants. I'll put a link below for that video and any other videos I mention in this video. So today, as mentioned, I'm going to show you how to make a really good cactus and succulent mix for your houseplants. My jade here is needing actually to be repotted. It's been growing in this peat pot, which is a great way to root them, by the way, for a, quite a while now. So it, it's definitely time for this plant to get into its own, its own. I have it in this outer pot here to hold it up in because it looks really nice and it, it, it matches, but it's time for it to get into a, a real pot, not just the, um, not just the, uh, the peat pot there. Okay, so this mix is just for cactus, cactus and succulents. So you wouldn't want to put you wouldn't want to put regular other other types of house plants into this mix. So what you want to start with is you want to start with the draining agents. So the big draining agent here is pumice. This is two cups of pumice and sand is drain is drains, but it also holds moisture. So this is the next thing, and this is one cup of sand. And you want to use horticultural sand. So don't go to a playground because you don't know what's in that sand. And you definitely don't want to go to the beach because that's full of salts. So you need horticultural grade sand that has been washed and it's, it's, it's uh, ready to use. Okay, then for nutrients, you want two cups of either vermicompost, this is vermicompost, worm compost, or you can use regular compost. So either one will work, so that's two cups. Then you want two tablespoons of lime, agricultural lime, so it's, it's lime that you, that you get for plants. And that helps the pH to get to a neutral level uh, and actually a little bit on the pH on on the pH scale a little on the alkaline side which a lot of succulents do like and then a quarter cup of charcoal which they do make for plants as well and that helps with odor control and keeping uh, the the soil in good condition and just in general it's a good additive to this mix then you want to, of course, mix it up really, really well. There are a lot of mixes that, you, that just don't have very much nutrients in them. That's why that, that compost or worm compost is so important because it will have micronutrients, macronutrients such as, as nitrogen and phosphorus and potassium, but it will also have micronutrients in it, which give the give the cacti and succulents everything they need to grow really, really well. So mixing that up really good. Show you up close in a second what it looks like. And then this jade will be in this soon and really liking it. Okay, I'll give you a close up here, what it looks like. Got my own cactus and succulent mix all made up there. A lot of the cactus and succulent mixes you'll find on the market have a lot of, they're, they're very well draining, but they, like I mentioned, they don't have as, much, as many nutrients as I'd like to see. Um, so this is both. It will give you both. The well draining and then the sand does hold, have a little moisture retention, but not a lot. And then you've got the worm compost for, for those nutrients. So there you go. How to make your own cactus and succulent mix. As you can see, it was pretty quick and easy. And you can, when you make this, you can split it in half, you can double or triple it, 
whatever works, whatever, how, however much you need. Uh, you can determine for how much you're making as to how many cups you're going to make and if it, this, if, if you're going to have enough. So this would be good for a medium sized pot or a couple smaller pots. Thank you for stopping by today. Please leave any comments about any indoor gardening tutorials you'd like to see. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. And please check the bell if you'd like to be notified when new videos are released.